how's it going? Haven't done a video in a while, and uh, here I got a few a few of them I'm going to pump out tonight. The first one's going to be um, about a, about a month ago, I guess. Um, I got a phone call from uh, Corey Dunn Jr. Remember, I did the video a few years ago, Corey Dunn Senior, and his IRS fives. Well, they needed some help to get the the old system up and running because Alice, his wife, wanted to hook the rig up. So. Corey uh, Jr. did his best and hooked everything up the way his old man had it set up in a small small room instead of out in the big living room. And it didn't sound right. They And we kind of lost touch the last couple of years, which is both our faults. And they'd gotten these the Mark Levinson ML2s that Corey didn't had to power up the, uh, the planar section of the, of the IRS 5s. So... We got everything up and running. Well, they'd gotten everything up and running, and subwoofers are not placed properly. But instead of me walking in there and saying, "Ah, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong," no, you got to listen to the problem first. After that, Corden Jr. and I relocated the subs to the front of the rooms with the drivers facing the walls, and then basically dialed everything in, um, set the subwoofer levels. They were in phase. Um, we used the Argent Pure mono blocks with Leo's um, Orchard Audio module, Ultra modules inside to power the speakers because the ML that came back from repair, you know, just to them they didn't, didn't sound right, and I didn't waste my time uh, keeping them on. Plus, I had to uh, rejig all the cables, kind of clean a few things up cable wise. We had the PS Audio DAC set up. We fed everything into my Black Ice um, F360 preamp, and then that went into the Argent Pure amps. Just gave it that little bit of warmth that the, that the uh, that Corridon's um, uh, planar panels needed. So once we'd gotten everything dialed in, it was like, wow, this is really fucking good, you know. And Corridon for sure was smiling from up above. It was. Definitely, you know, I mean, he was probably freaking out too because I went and cut up some cables, shortened some things, got rid of a lot of crap that he had in there, and just kind of cleaned things up, you know. And yeah, it was a really good time that day. We're gonna, I'm gonna follow up with another visit, and basically left the equipment there for Alice because I'm not really using it. Um, you know, Ernie's two amps there. We're basically kind of using Alice's system or Accordion system as a long-term testing thing for us um you know the f360 preamp you know eventually it'll make its way back into here for these guys this is another story for another video i'm going to drop so yeah it's a quick quick one i uh, got some pictures in the clips i didn't bother taking any videos um what's the point really you know just some nice photos photos and stuff like that that i'll put in the video <laughs> Basically, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching again. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye for now.